hey guys how's everybody doing so today's video is going to be about this crew makeup look that i used to do when i used to fly so hope you like and let's jump right into the video so the most important thing is to put your hair back because that's really an obstruction what i feel so now i'm going to fill my pores using this amazing uh pore primer from becca it's a it's a little purpley in shade so it gives me a nice uh, glow i apply it in the areas where i have pores like on my cheeks and i really rub it in so that i have a nice flawless look for foundation i'm going to use fenty foundation i'll be mixing two shades because i actually ordered it uh, from abroad and i couldn't find the perfect shade for me so i'm using my new uh, beauty blender this beautiful sponge i've been using so many dupes that i actually forgot how nice uh, the original one is so i'm uh, taking both these foundation and with the dabbing motion i'm applying it all over my face for concealer, I'm using this uh, concealer by Tarte. It's their Shape Tip Concealer. I'm in the shade Light Medium. I absolutely love this concealer. It's my go-to concealer. I haven't found a better concealer than that. I make sure that I always, always have a backup. I'm just uh, blending the usual areas. A beautiful uh, concealer is the way to go guys for my flight I used to make sure that a uh, center of my face is really highlighted because that uh, instantly gives such a nice glow and more of a chisel look uh, for contouring I'm using this stick uh, from Fenty Beauty it's in the shade truthful it's a beautiful brown and a perfect uh, match for I think Asian skin Indian skin brown skin I've applied it on the usual areas. I really like to contour my nose. So that's usually the first thing where I start contouring and I want to blend. The other usual areas are of course the cheek area and the jawline. So you need to make sure that you really blend it well because you don't want like a line or a streak of a brown shade on your cheek guys. And you also want to make sure that your contour is blended on the chin, killing the double chin area. To set my face, I'm using this powder from Laura Mercier. This is such an amazing powder and I actually use it like, you know, probably grannies uh, can use any treasure. So I really make sure that I use only on special occasions and I used to use it for my flights because I know that this will actually set my makeup. To set my contour, I'm using this uh, bronzer from Hula. Sorry, it's from Benefit. The bronzer's name is Hula. And I'm just uh, layering it on top of my contour. I'm just putting on the usual areas. This is also a beautiful color and I love the brush that it comes with. It actually helps to contour, like giving it a beautiful shape. So I absolutely love. Now it's time for brows and I'm using this a pot from NYX. I love, love, love the brush that comes from Anastasia to tame the brows. And now I'm just using a regular eyebrow brush and I'm filling the brow. I actually don't uh, have a very light brows but I just like to fill in the sparse areas or you know probably areas where my eyebrow lady goofed up. And now for eyes, I'm using this beautiful soft clam eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The first shade I'm going to use on my crease is this orange soda. It's a beautiful orangey shade and I'm just blending on my crease area. The second shade is the burnt orange uh, just to intensify. I actually don't want to put like a dark brown shade all at once. So I prefer making an ombre effect. The third shade that I put is a Sienna. It's a beautiful brownie orange. Basically, all the shades have a more orangey uh, undertone, a very warm undertone to it. So I absolutely love. 
and now after planning I'm going to use a pop of shimmer the shade rose pink and I use my finger to apply it on my lid area I use a finger because that's how you get the maximum intensity and also on flights you really don't want a very glittery or shimmery look so with your uh, finger you can really control the pigmentation of the product and I'm going to apply it on my other eye as well I thought that this was not enough so I used the shade fairy and this had a more uh, gold undertone to it and I really make sure that the product is really packed in because guys you really want your makeup to last longer for your flight and now to blend everything and make it look all like a good set I take the shade again burnt orange and put it on my crease so that it looks much more complete and uh, a little more a warmer shade can add a nice pop of shade to your shimmery look I'm using the shade uh, Cyrus Amber and I'm going to put it on my lower lash line using the same brush that comes along with the set. I'm so happy that Anastasia has finally launched it in India guys. Uh, it's available at Sephora. Their products are amazing and the eyeshadow palettes are to die for. Now I'm going to apply this uh, eyeliner from NYX. It's their Vanille Matte Eyeliner and i'm not making like a wing or anything i'm just uh, putting a very thin line because i would like to apply some falsies and by doing so you, the band of the lashes is really not visible if you want to skip the lashes it's totally your call and then you can have a beautiful a uh, long wig eyeliner but i chose to go for lashes I'm using this mascara from L'Oreal it's their lash paradise mascara a lot of people say that this is a dupe for the Too Faced by Born This Way and it has a pretty decent wand so you can uh, give it a try and I'm going to be back with my very natural looking lashes and here they are I'm just now giving a coat of mascara on my lower lash line it's very important guys I'm using this uh, blush from the Balm Cosmetics. It's called the Balm Spring. It's a beautiful earthy color. It's like a pinkish peach mixture. To highlight my face, I'm using this uh, highlighter champagne pop, the old goodie from Becca. I'm just highlighting the usual areas like my nose, my cheekbone. My Becca uh, highlighter has broken so many times guys have you also experienced and I also tried fixing with the rubbing alcohol but it really didn't help so if you have any trip let me know for lips I'm going to use my favorite uh, the Fenty Beauty Stana lip paint in the shade uncensored so this is actually a beautiful red but you really need to be careful be because it can really bleed or spread so it's advisable that you use a lip liner so that it's locked and it stays put but putting that all aside it's a beautiful shade of red it's vibrant yet subtle like it's a perfect perfect red my uh, favorite is from MAC the Ruby Woo but this is much more brighter and now to set everything in place I'm going to use my favorite Morphe setting spray it's refreshing yet it uh, also sets for my hair I'm going to make a side partition and make sure uh, that all the flyaways and the frizzy hair has been taken care of and now I like to put my hair back in a nice slick ponytail because that's how I thought I at least looked professional and now I'm just making sure that there are no flyaways and now I'm going to wear my pearl earrings because I feel pearl looks amazing with uniform it looks so classy so chic so I have a lot of pearl earrings so yeah guys that's how I used to do my makeup when I used to go for my flights so yeah if you like my video please don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe hope to see you in my next video thanks for watching